I wish the rest of um, Canada or BC could see what we've witnessed here today. So as you can see, there's big fish in here. And then here's a small salmon. This is a wild fish. You hear horror stories of Norway and all of these other countries, Chile and whatnot. And I hope that we stand up now and that it's not going to come to a point where we're not going to have wild salmon. To see this many wild fish on the surface of one toad on one day, that means this small farm is killing thousands of fish. What about the other ones? Yeah, all, all of these are your fish. This is your fish. This is your fish. This is your fish. That's your fish. This, it's, this is where I think you know, it's going to have come to. It's not pushed. You know, like, we need to step up now and do something. This is really hard to, you know, to take. And I just wish that other people could see what I'm missing. do something about these fish farms before it's too late. And there will be no fish and that's not for our grandchildren and their children. I think it was, what, 21 years ago, I remember taking my baby on his first um, fish farm protest. But yeah, our community gets involved, our children from the youngest to the oldest, you know, they're, they're against fish farms and whatnot. But, in the years that we've been going out there, you see some of these beaches are just like muck now from where fish farms were. And you know, and people argue that point, but if they came actually in our community to actually see what we witnessed, hey, yeah, I think it would be a different story. And then once you start to destroy, you know, the fish life and whatnot, you also start to destroy the animals, you know, like, because who feeds off those also, not just First Nations, but you know, like if they're so worried about this great bear, white bear, you know, then they should be worried about the wild salmon too. Because, you know, all of these things, you know, it just, everything goes together, we've always been told. You know, this is Musumal Zawadeno territory. Does not belong to anyone, especially this person they call Her Majesty. It belongs to that of the Musumal Zawadeno people. And we've tried, we've put up these signs wherever there's um, fish farms or industry and whatnot to say to them, you know, they have no right being here. Explain it all. I believe that you guys are trespassing on Mr. Mount Cloud in unceded territory. Okay. So, are you going to give us a fish to test? I can't. We've been talking with your office and they did yep. say that they could give us a fish, so I don't see what the problem is. Get them that. to contact me, please. That's it. Thank you. And just so you know, yeah, you, there was never ever consent for this to be put on our territory. So you're, you're here illegally, okay? Yep. The next one will be an eviction notice if you don't okay. get out, okay? <laughs> and this is just the beginning. Okay. What, from what I could see from here, made me absolutely sick and I think that uh, the general public needs to needs to know uh, what what's going on out here uh, disgusting you have no right to be here they've never had permission this is unceded territory of the Muslim Al-Sawadena and I think we start acting like the landlords of this territory and force them out of here because you were to see today what I see you feel 
the same way. I think all of Canada would feel the same way. And I think it's time that we force them to leave this territory. I wish I left like a child in the 